What's up, everybody? You already know what it is. It's your boy. And you already know right off the bat, man, I always like to thank y'all because I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, checking out these videos I do for y'all. As you see, we got a couple of them things in the building today. Couple of them boxes in. Good folks over at Hat Club. Uh, we got a couple of collections in here. We got a couple of things that were released over the last week, maybe two weeks. Just now I'm able to get into them because, like I said, I took a little you know, a little weekend off, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of pushed a lot of stuff back in the order I dropped the videos. So drop this video for y'all. And I want to get this one out because uh, it's a lot like it's starting to, you know, you take one weekend off or, you know, you, know, you take that good work vacation and everything. Then when you come back, you kind of stop piling from stuff that piled up because you left. Same case here, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, I want to try to get these out to y'all as fast as I can. But, like I said, I enjoy doing it, so I never really trip off of it. So, like I said, in the building today, we got Hat Club. Got a couple of them good things for them from the last week or two. You know what I mean? Actually, the last week or two up until one of these boxes I got, like, yesterday. So, you know what I'm saying? I went ahead and threw it in the grouping. You know what I mean? So, we're going to check out some good hats. You already know what it is, man. Hat Club never disappoints. So, we're going to bust things open. We're going to get into them. We're going to let y'all check them out. So, you know what it is, man. We're going to hit y'all with this good intro. Then, we're going to get into these things right here. So, uh, let's get it. Like I said, after that good intro... We're going to bust right into these because they've been sitting long enough and I'm trying to get them in hand and see what they're looking like. So let's pop open this first one. And like I said, a lot of these are from the last, I want to say, week or two. And one of the packages I got as early as yesterday. So, you know what I mean? We still got some little things in here, but this is some stuff I just wanted to analyze and break down in front of y'all. You know what I mean? So you can see how they come in. So, I had to move a couple of these out the way because there's a couple of boxes. And the first one we got, let me get the little get the little invoice, make sure I'm saying it right. Now, this one here is the Yote City 5950 Cubs All-Star Game 90. Now, this one was a must-have going all the way back from when I met up with him when they had the little LA festival down here. And uh you had Yo come out, you had T Mark was out there, you had Bearded Goose came out. So, like, you know, it was a it was a whole thing, it was a movie. Everybody came out, everybody showed everybody love, and he was actually wearing this one, and you already know me. I was already putting my bid and asking him about it, man. They're going to have some more coming out there. I think they had some sizes out there, but of course, like in the whole festival, nobody really had any size eight, so your boy didn't really get to pick nothing up out there, but for the most part, just glad I was able to cop this when they did drop it, because one thing about me, I love a good brown tan khaki type joint you know what i mean especially this i would consider probably more so a winter time joint because that's when you're gonna break out a lot of your browns your tans your khakis your tims you know what i mean that would be much more on this type of kick so this will probably get a lot of run from me winter time rolling around love the side patch on this joint i mean this is one of those ones where the logo is a dope logo but this is probably the one i say the side patch overtook the logo in this for the most part, like I said, the, the side patch, I mean, it works. Everything works. I love the kit. Like I said, you wouldn't think this kind of blue and the red would go with that type of brown, but it's dope to me. Then it has the blue, the like the royal blue under that goes with it. To me, this hat just works with the colors. A lot of times you would think these colors won't work, but I guess it's one of those once you actually see them together, they work out tremendously. They come out looking awesome. You know what I mean? You can't have you got the blue button on the top. You can tell he really paid attention to detail how he wanted to do this. You got the white guts under it. And nowadays, a lot of people are going with that because white guts do sometimes make the difference in the hat, depending on the color where you're going with. And this more seemed like the tone of this hat was more of a brighter tone. So the white guts actually made it look that much better. You know what I'm saying? You do have the white in some areas of it. So probably wouldn't want to go with black. Got the flat indented Batman on there. Got the tone of New Era flag. Everything on this hat just works from the logo to the side patch. To me, the side patch is the biggest star on this hat. I mean, from the from the quality of it to the to the breakdown of it from the stars to the actual Cubs logo for the All-Star game for 1990. To me, this is a dope patch. Probably one of the top Cubs patches, in my opinion. 
just the way it works for the whole hat. I love the way it takes up the whole side, but then the patch gives off that kind of vibe where you really don't mind it because it's a good looking side patch. Because sometimes you have the big gaudy patches and mm, they may not be all there like that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him for this one right here. That one was a dope one. And this one here, I, I, I haven't picked up one of these before from Trill San Francisco, but this is the Trill. Sakura Miki Moshi, I see it in there, something like that. Oh, let's just call it the O. And again, as you see right off the bat, when I got that one, the way I got this one, you can see subliminally the tone that I was going with the tan, the brown, the khaki. I love that colorway. I love the way the front logo went with this right here. Nice little stylish hat. Again, this will be more towards like your wintertime look. Had to have this one. The whole oat look on the top was a must for me. And like I said, that's a good quality patch right there on the front for the logo. And like I said, this is from Trill San Francisco. You got your Tono New Era going in with that. You got your black gush. You got your black under. They got your black nasty, man. Now, you know me. I'm not never running from nothing. I mean, hey, it's a black nasty. I'll roll with it. You know what I'm saying? If it makes the hat look good, I'm not even mad at it. And like I said, it fits this hat. Give it that angle look, that black brim. Got your black guts on there with the whole old thing. You can really flip this thing out style-wise wintertime. So definitely didn't hurt. And like I said, knowing that it had a black under, I didn't mind that at all one bit personally because like I said, it makes the hat work. I mean, sometimes if you want to go, but sometimes the only direction you can go is black. And like I said, I know it is a thing. Just some places, certain areas, they don't wear it. Like I said, man, my motto was if it looked good, I'm rocking it. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. I don't care what's going on with it. If the hat looks good and it'll look good with me wearing it, it's for sure going to come home. This is one of those deals right here. Like I said, hopefully I didn't butcher the name too much on it. But yeah, Trail San Francisco, you know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure I did butcher the name. But, you know, what am I do, man? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get into this next one. <clears throat> Like I said, don't want to make it too long of a thing, but, you know, I do like to dive in some of these joints, you know what I'm saying, because we do got a lot of them here. All right, this next one here, let me get that good invoice out. Now, this one here, the story on this pack right here that I got on these two joints, it was funny how it happened. I caught both of these when they were doing mad restocks, like in the middle of the night. Well, not really the middle of the night, but they were dropping a lot of... Um, <clears throat> The fashion joints, like the two toying joints. I don't know if they were from the crossovers or just another version of the crossovers. But they were dropping these joints like for East Coast time in the middle of the night. Because on the West Coast, it was like almost 10, 11, 12 o'clock when some of these were coming out. And I did my due diligence, man. And I had to jump on them, man. So this first one, this one is the two-tone Marlins joint. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to assume, by the way, this one comes out. This was like a, a, a cross between as far as the Miami Heat because they do have the white jerseys with the red trim on them with kind of like the little orange on there. Now, I do feel that. Now, this one to me, this one, this gives off summertime vibes. You just got to make sure. I'm going to let y'all know, fellas, man, if y'all do mess with white caps just like you mess with the white guts, hit it with your protector, even if it has the black guts, man. Hit it with your protector. Let it sit. Let the protector sit on there. Hit it again before you wear it. And of course, let it sit before you wear it. That would be my best advice to you guys. So like I said, I've never lost a white gus. I've never lost a hat. It can be a little dangerous if you sweat profusely, if you're wearing a white hat in the summertime. But I mean, for the most part, if you're not running no marathons or no races, you should be good. But just make sure you hit it with that protector, man. You hit it with that protector, you should be good. Like I said, I haven't lost one yet. Don't plan on starting to now. But like I said, back to the hat, got your good side patch on there. To me, this is a dope side patch just because of the quality and the details on it. Definitely like it. Didn't take away too much. The thing that stands out about this hat is the colorway itself. I believe this is like the rolled alternate jerseys. Um, the ones where they wear the white with the red trim in, you know what I'm saying? With kind of like the orange on there. So I thought this was a dope hat. Got the little orange under visor on there to make the orange stand out from the outline of the F. I thought that was dope with the red and the orange on the bottom of it. See, it gives it that type of look. It gives off the summertime vibe, especially with that orange under on there. Like I said, you got the black guts. 
You got the flat indented Batterman on there. You got the white tone on New Era. And like I said, don't be afraid to hit me in the comments about that. Like I said, one more time, hit it with that protector. Let it sit. Usually my light colored undervisor or light color has more so off whites than white has. I do bag them before I put them up. So I would hit it with the protector, sit it in the bag for like a day, take it out again. If you plan on wearing it, hit it again with the protector, let it sit for about maybe 30, 45 minutes, then you all good. But definitely this is the kind of hat you want to hit it with protector all over just because, especially if you plan on wearing it like this one right here. If I plan on wearing it, it would be a summertime look just because of the brightness of the color of the hat. So that's what this would more so leans toward because it gives off like that Miami like summer tone look like with the orange light for the sun being that bright. Yeah, this is a brighter tone colored hat. So that's the direction you would want to go with this. So like I said, that would be my nuances of how I would run with this one as far as just wearing it for a summertime hat because with the summertime colors it gives off, that's how I would do it personally. Now, the next one we're going to get into is the fashion, uh, I guess it says Cool Fashion Orange UV San Diego Padres. Now, this one, this one was a must-have. I didn't grab it on the first go-around, but this is the nuance and the nod to the San Diego Clippers when they were in San Diego. This was the, cur the, the color of their jerseys, and again, with the orange on the bottom. So, like I said, summertime vibes, man, with those bright colors that gives off that summertime look. This one... It was on the list when a lot of the other um, <clears throat> crossover colors and all that were coming out. It made the list, but it was just so many other good ones that came out. It just went to the bottom. So this is one of those ones, like when I saw the Marlins one, then actually saw this one too and threw this on there. I probably would have got this before the Marlins one because I'm a sucker. You already know me. I love like the sky blue, the light blue colorway. And this one with the SD in white outlined in like the orange, like the same orange as the undervisor. Like I said, Nice little summertime vibe. You got your decent side patch. That's not doing too much to overtake the hat. You let the colorway on this one overtake the hat. And like I said, that's the one thing I like about these and these colors. It gives you, since we are rolling in the summer right now, I think they said the first day of summer would probably be coming like this Sunday. I mean, it gives you that type of vibe. And you know me, I'm known for, you know, saying I take my little staycation and blast to Vegas real quick. So these are going to make a lot of appearances. And like the hats I got when I start. I'm going to start switching a lot of these hats you see behind me out, you know, taking the drawers or the whole container, switching them out with the summertime hats now, man, because you want to go with those brighter colors, you know what I mean? Because you're going to wear, you're going to want to wear more so those colors going with those type of kicks with your bright color kicks, you know what I'm saying? And then the more dull colors, you know, when you get in the winter that you're going to wear with your coats and your bangers and stuff out like that, you know the deal, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell y'all that. But this one... Definitely had to come home, more summertime vibe, summertime look. Now, is that to say that's the hat so I'm going to start leaning toward more bright colors? Absolutely not. I'm going to go for the hat that always looks good, you know what I mean? And that's going to look good on me, and that's what I'm going to roll with. But I'm just saying, since those flashed out and they caught my eye and they were summertime colors, they were more so no-brainers that I was going to pick them up. So just made sense at the time. And like I said, a lot of those drops, man, a lot of those drops... I know a lot of people missed out on because they dropped so late. But shout out to Jason and the Hat Crawler because, like I said, when the notification popped up, it made me more so go check the site because those weren't the only ones, and I didn't want to wait for him to drop everything that was like kind of already being loaded to the site. So yeah, if you ain't following the Hat Crawler, man. Hey, hey, that comes right on time, man. But definitely don't follow his site, man, if you ain't trying to set your wallet on fire because the way that he's dropping when some of these sites are dropping. It can get ugly. And I mean, it can get ugly quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Next invoice here. Now, these definite must-haves when I saw these when they dropped. These were just crazy colors to me. They were must-haves to me. I'm wearing these winter, summer, whenever. I mean, I just love the colorway on these. It was hands down. These had to come home. Glad I was able to cop. And the first one is the Bean Pop Detroit Tigers, the Cardinal. They're calling it Cardinal and Tan. It looks more like a dull gold, but they're going with Cardinal and Tan. So I'm going to tell it what it is. But this one here, just the maroon, burgundy alone, whatever you want to call it, definitely dope with this colorway. And I love when they use the more so large Detroit Tigers D on there. Must have. This had 10 out of 10 right off the top. So is the other one that came with it. These were must haves for me. That gray under, like I said, sometimes simple, is the best. You know what I mean? 
Don't need no crazy unders with this. Don't need nothing to take away from the beauty of the hat. Got the nice little side patch on there. And if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, I haven't really seen this side patch, but I love the way they did it because you're not getting much out of the side patch. You want to let the hat and the front logo speak for itself. And this is what this hat actually does because, I mean, now don't get me wrong, when you look at the side patch, it's definitely a dope, simple side patch. I love how they put the D there too, so it makes it work. So the one thing I like about that is, this is one of those hats, they let the main logo do all the talking for the hat with the colorway. It's going to shut everything else down with as soon as you look at it. Like I said, you got that gray under, you got the white guts. Really, the only way you could go is just keep this hat 10 out of 10. Got the flat batterman on there. I love they using that on a lot of the stuff they're doing too. I would call this kind of a tonal new era flag, but it, all, it almost looks like it gives you off a, a brighter from the maroon. I won't say infrared. Nah, it, it could stay the same. But just when you look at it from eyeball glance, it looks like it's different from the hat because it more so stands out instead of blending in and being actual tonal with the hat. But this one here, whew, something else, man. Something else. And now, this next one, this don't really need no introduction, man. Like I said, as soon as I tell you I'm a sucker for a 99 patch, you already going to know what it is. But this one is the red UV Yankees brown and wheat, they're calling it. I'm going to just leave it here real quick. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. Had to happen. Had to happen, man. I'm a sucker for a good Yankees 99 and a Braves 99, but it just it just flows so much flawlessly on a Yankees cap. Then with that red under, like, sweet Jesus, man. Like, the brown and the tans, like, I don't know what it is. It just makes everything look that much more beautiful, in my opinion. And just that much how it gives you all of the brown, like almost like a, a mocha look, and then hits you with that 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 trance of red on the under UV. I mean, that's a thing of beauty, man. 10 out of 10 without even hesitating. Got the flat batter man on the back. Got the tonal new era flag on there. And like I said, good original Yankees logo. You really can't beat that, like I said. And I just love the way the 99 patch went on this one. You got the nice little gold. Of course, you got the hint of red to go with the red on that bottom of that. I love a good 99 patch, man. You really can't go wrong when you do that. And then I love the way, I want to say that's an olive green on there on the 99. Like I said, how they play with the colors in the 99 patch, but they really didn't want to take away too much from the hat colorway. This hat, just pure buy on colorway alone. Love the way they did the red under. Of course, you got the white guts on there. This thing here, yeah, this is going to get some run. Summertime, wintertime, whenever. These two right here, colorway-wise, are something special. These definitely hit it out of the park when I got these picked up, man. Definitely shout out to them, man, on that colorway right there. Them things are dangerous right there. And I know those things flew off the shelf. I know a good Yankee 99 will definitely always fly off the shelf if the colorway is hitting. Plus, you got a 99 on the side of it. I mean, what are you going to do, man? Now, opening this one here, this is the one of the packages I got that just came in just yesterday. Now, I've seen this released, I want to say, on New Era. I think maybe Lids may have put out a version. Um, but I do know it released a couple of places. And believe it or not, for this to be an all-black hat with a black nasty on it, I mean, people still wanted this thing. And I believe they released it like with a jersey and everything. But this one is the City Connect Chicago White Sox. And this thing is a must-have, man. I love the logo. Love the simplicity of the hat. You got a hat here. No side patch. Nothing crazy like that. This is just all logo. This is all logo. White New Era. Regular official batter man. So this is basically just a City Connect, like, of a of a basic, like, you know, MLB release and things like that. When I seen it actually hit on their site, because I, did, I wasn't able to pick one up, all the sizes were gone. So... For this to be a black under, this is just a black dome crowned out hat. You know what I mean? You see, I got me on a black dome right now with that Kelly under. This is just a straight up legit black dome hat. I mean, everything, this is just blacked out with a dope logo and not a bad logo to let stand on its own too. You know what I mean? Because that's basically what they did here. It's no side patch to look at. You got your regular Batterman, your official Batterman. You got your white New Era flag. This is just a hat that, hey, hey, you gonna love it or you not. You know what I'm saying? And apparently they hit it off the park and everybody loved it because every site I looked on that had this sold out. So I don't think people was minding too much. 
that, hey, it had a black under, or maybe because the hole had us blacked out, they weren't really tripping as much about it. But I do know one thing, they must have loved this hat because it was gone everywhere. So shout out to y'all for loading this up because I really wanted it. I don't think the jersey was like in my size, so I wasn't worried too much about getting that. But if you want you a cap, you know what I'm saying? You know how I always say, hey, you just want you a cap to throw on, that's going to match up, t-shirt, jeans, throw on a fresh pair of kicks, and you ain't really worried about side patches or colors. Oh, this, this flipped the bill for sure. You know what I mean? Black guts, black under, black domed out, dope logo. Nothing you can really say about that. That's a that's that's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? You that's that hat is just pure logo alone and nothing else. All right, we're gonna get into this last one real quick. Like I said, man, don't want to really hold y'all up. Just want to show y'all some fly things real quick. You know what I'm saying? But every once in a while, like I said, when I get backed up, man, these things come to it. Like I said, we had three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this will be eight right here. So, and this one, a more recent release too, and this one, definitely another colorway buy. This one is the 5950 Marlins 10th Anniversary, uh, it says 10th Anniversary 93, and the colors, it's funny, it says the colors is black, NLB, and red. I'm guessing that's for like the kind of aqua color that's on it, but I don't know, but this joint is fire though. Now, I'm a sucker for a good Florida Marlins logo when they do the colors right and when they make the colorway dope like this one, kind of like how they had that uh that Miami Heat version one. This one here was a no-brainer. I love how they kept the blue on the fish to make it still look fishy, if that's a thing. But like I said, <laughs> they outlined the F in that red, and I love how they made the side patch look on here. Like I said, the way they use that aqua or that... uh whatever type of blue they're brandishing as on the invoice and you know as far as the name and the colorway but to me it looks like a good aqua and it works with the aqua and red with the white because it's not getting too crazy it's all simple colors that are gonna go keep it simple with that gray under so you let the logo and the side patch do the talking and i think they bounce and work well off of each other you got the flat batterman on the back and of course you got the white guts Nah, they could have went with black. It would have worked either or with this kind of colorway, but I guess they went with the white because you got the more so white inside of the logo and on the side patch and everything like that. So not really too much mad at that. This one here caught my eye strictly off colorway. And like I said, you got to think, like I said, if you got shoes with your hats and all that, like it's a lot that can be done with this, a lot that can go with this one and, and transpire in like the way you can flip this around. So on top of a dope colorway, it works with a lot of colors I have because they did it with a simple color twist. You can more so pretty much say it's kind of like almost like a light blue, a red and white. So you really can't beat that. And they really didn't. They could have went with a the red. They could have went with the blue under here. I'm glad they went with the gray because it's almost like they wanted to keep this one simple and not really do too much with it to make it just, you know, pile over or be that kind of cap. It's like they wanted to make a nice looking cap with a nice looking colorway, but also keep it simple at the same time. And I think they did it with this one. I think it worked out. You know what I mean? Personally, me just looking at it, you got a simple cap. Still got your little side patch, nothing crazy on the under, but you got a nice cap with a dope colorway with a nice little side patch on it if that's the route you're trying to go. So that's it, man. We popped them all open. That's what we got here. Like I said, again, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight on them. Eight with the little side patches minus out the city vision. We'll do the quick little, or the city connect where I say for that white size. We'll do the quick little recap. We got the yoke right there, you know what I'm saying, with that Chicago Cubs, with that dope wheat colorway. I'm not even going to try to abuse this name again, but from the good folks over at Trail San Francisco, I love the way the oat looks on this hat with the colors that make it pop. We got your Florida Marlins, Miami Heat kind of, you know, crossover colorway right here with like the little alternate white jersey look. We got the San Diego Padres, San Diego Clippers crossover type colorway right here with the orange under. Oh, that bean pop, man. Detroit Tigers bean pop colorway. To me, this one was the best out of the collection. Let me know what you think because I know they did have a couple of teams. I want to call it like a micro collection. They didn't have all the teams, but they did have a couple of teams. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. Hey, man. It's a New York 99. If you ain't loving it, I don't know, man. Let me know what you think, though. Then, like I said, we got the City Connect, Chi-Town, Chicago White Sox with it. 
Then, of course, we got your, this ain't really attached to nothing. This is just a Florida Marlins and a hell of a colorway, man. So, like I said, we got like seven, eight joints right there, man. I'm going to get up out of here. And like I say, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Like, share, subscribe. Even if you don't, I still appreciate y'all for showing love, checking your boy out. And you already know, man, I'm going to see y'all on the next one. It's always the next one, baby. I'm going to check y'all out in the comments. Let me know what y'all digging from the collection. If y'all was able to grab something from this collection. Other than that, I'm going to see y'all on the next one. That'll probably be pumping out in the next two or three days, man, because I got a lot to catch up on, a lot to catch up on. Especially, I'm pretty sure everybody already knowing that auxiliary drop they drop in with the hip-hop hats. Come on, man. You know your boy going to be in life in them joints too, man. So I'm going to catch y'all, man. You know I'm going to drop it to y'all when I get it here first. Other than that, I'm going to check y'all in the comments, man. It's your boy. I'm out of here.